In your book, The Dictator's Learning Curve, and in your talk at the Salzburg Global Seminar, you conclude that we have entered the age of protest. What do you mean? Well, what we've seen now is that the movement of protest or, um, or uh, agitation against states is now not something that's strictly limited to authoritarian contexts or authoritarian regimes. Um, most recently with the protests, massive protests in, in Brazil or the large-scale protests in Turkey, uh, we've seen again and again people finding their voice, maybe not necessarily uh, with the interest of trying to change the regime, um, but rather to in address an inequity, uh, to uh, try to play a role in politics that they feel that they've been excluded from. In the case of Turkey, for example, it's not as though the young people there uh, actually wanted to um, topple Erdogan. Uh, what they were looking to do was actually try and carve out more space and, and change the democracy that they have. Uh, in the case of Brazil, when you have a million people coming out, it's not about that increase in bus fare. There's something bigger at work than that. It's social inequities that they feel that they've been promised would be addressed and haven't been addressed. So what, is ha what we see is, is it's not so much necessarily a struggle only between authoritarians and the people who challenge them. It's between government and their populations and government and their citizens.